following is a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network. He buries it. The Cougs have taken the lead. This place is going to pop up. This is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. We're committed to being great here. Lofts it intercepted, and Washington State, Shaw Smith Wade. Wade. I'm proud to represent Washington State. I know the people that wear their cougs all across this country, they're proud to be a part of Washington State. Ward has blocking to the right, sprints to the 10, angles all the way, touchdown. Why not be here? Why not cheer on this team? Why not Why not see this environment and make it something special? Spins out of a tackle, has green 20-yard line to the 15, near sideline, Watson, touchdown. What an opportunity to show who we are as cougs. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zappos, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. Now, live from Zappos, alongside Cougar head coach Jake Dickert, here's the voice of the Cougs, Matt Chazanow. We are back. It is that time of year. It's that week time of the week. It's game week. It's time to talk ball. Great crowd. Here great, we, great crowd. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we're oh, locked man. and loaded. We got ourselves a packed house here we're week back. one for we're Zeppos. Back. We are back. It is great to see you. This is the official start of the season. I love when it. we finally get love to it. this point, and I see everybody from Zeppos, a lot of familiar faces. Thanks for everybody coming back out. But this is where we're going, and we couldn't be more excited. I love it. I love it. For those listening on radio here at Zeppos, you've probably been. If you haven't, you got to come by for starters. Right. If you haven't, it really is a packed house. There, there, right. I don't see any open seats. It's a great crowd, and it's great. Like you said, familiar faces. It's our little Zeppos family here yeah, that's what it is. i see pizza i see beers i see wings great. I mean, we're living we're back we're living let's we're, go we're back we've got a, we've got a colorado state game week yeah. we've got week one we've got a ton to talk about we're loaded up with questions on x twitter x we've yeah. got write-in questions here before i get to them what we're going to do we're, we're going to go seven segments okay we'll go a little bit more structured this year coach i'm, okay. I'm going to be disciplined you're going to keep you, me between the lines I, i'm going to keep myself between okay. the lines you okay. you you, I, I, you carry me on this show i'm, I'm trying to stay between the lines myself okay. i heard you at practice today talking to the guys about discipline i'm, I'm, I'm going right. to try to do the same Thing. We got it. I'm gonna, we got so, it. So seven segments. We're going to go first segment here. I want to talk about the offseason a little bit. Yep. I want to talk about uh, some off-field stuff, of course, on-field stuff. But one of the least discussed elements, and one of the keys to any football program yeah. is the strength coach. Absolutely. And the whole offseason is about – and I was talking to Connor Gomez today. I said, what would you do this offseason? He said, I got strong. Yeah. I said, well, how would you do that? He's talking about – who is the new strength coach? What is the strength program like? To, yeah. to, to bring us behind the curtain on the offseason in that regard and your biggest gainers of the offseason. Well, I just think the one of the most important hires you'll ever make when you sit in this chair is who is in charge of your strength and conditioning. And Coach Ben Anakione, uh, our paths crossed at the University of Wyoming. Okay. And he was the head strength coach there. Uh, he later had, you know, journeyed through a, a couple of different realms, but he's cutting the cloth from LSU. And uh, he's just really excited, uh, you know, to be here. But I knew that we need to be bigger, faster, and stronger to be able to compete, especially at the line of scrimmage. You know, and the one thing that he said is, Coach, he's like, I'm going to come in, I'm old school, and we're going to build it from the weight room out. I think uh, the new strength and conditioning coaches are going from the field and the movement skills, and then the weight room is kind of an afterthought. Mm-hmm. So... I knew we, we aligned. There's a toughness aspect. And I said this at Media Days, and I truly believe it. Good strength coaches, they really coach, you know, physicality and weight training. Great ones coach mentality. And Coach Anakione and myself are so aligned in how we want to build a team. He's really a driver of the culture because he has our players, you got to remember, for almost 50% of the time. Right. You know, so – Connor, and just talking to him today, he feels so much more confident in him being able to go out and perform because he has that strength. And I told him, I said, you're now playing in position because now you trust that you have the ability to move people. You know, I think uh, Fali, Falili was there. I think Ansel Dinbu coming in as a true freshman is one of our strongest players on the team. Is that and, right? Out of high school? Yes. And wow. if you would have given me a heads up, him and Bobby Terrell, Isaac Terrell yeah. from Utah, they come in as true freshmen, and they're in the top five in every category, really? right, from power clean to bench press wow. to squat. Wow. And that's part of, you know, really reestablishing that line of scrimmage. You know, and that was one of our big missions, bringing in Coach McGuire, uh, getting the Abe Lucas type bodies, and let's put them through this process. And to be able to develop those guys to be physical big guys on the field, you chain them in the weight room. And I think Coach Anakiani and his staff – have really done an amazing job of just transforming our program. And it's amazing. When you give our players a clear vision of why we're doing something, man, do they go out there and attack it. And I think they attacked this summer, and we're seeing the results of it. And the number one thing that I relate to as far as data 
We had one soft tissue injury in fall camp, so they were prepared. And we had one concussion in fall camp. So we did everything we can to build them up for this point, and we're healthy and ready to go for game one. Is it accurate to come off the top on the week one show with a strength coach question for the offseason? Because I feel like it is. And is it also accurate to say it's an under-discussed element of the whole program? Well, I think it's, it, it, it's completely under-discussed, and it's one of the most important things that you'll ever have. And we talk about it a ton in recruiting. When we bring these guys here, I want them to get to know the strength coaches because you're going to be spending so much time with them. And everyone sees, okay, I want to play in the NFL, right? They see the summit of the mountain, but they forget about the mountain, right? <laughs> you, there's a journey and a process that you have to go through to get from A to B, and those guys are one of your biggest tools, right? We hold the, you know, the skills, the technique, uh, uh, the schemes, but they hold the physicality and what you're going to do with your body from 17 to 23. I mean, the before and after pictures for some of these guys is just incredible. And I even lead to a guy like Cam Ward. Uh, Cam has big goals and dreams, and, and we support that. He wasn't where he needed to be even as a physicality standpoint. Now he's proud of himself. He's wearing tight shirts again yeah. at practice. You know what I mean? It's the gun shows out there. Yeah. So I think when you everyone sees him uh, Saturday night, they'll be like, man, even Cam looks different. You know, a guy like Jalen Jenkins to, you know, be so – locked in to always be a hun above 170 pounds you know we had uh, i think 10 plus guys running over 22 miles an hour i just we're just really excited about where we're going in that realm and and i believe me Chaz, we're just getting started uh, and that's so that's the off season right you, you've got a new strength coach and it sounds really positive yeah guys are faster bigger faster stronger yeah. that's the goal and especially in a development program Correct. right Correct. i'm doing air quotes for those listeners yeah. and now here you are it's game week right yeah. so you're getting ready for colorado state bring me through morale bring me through the, the vibe in the locker room and and how the energy has been getting prepped for the Rams. well i think i just really at three o'clock on thursdays we always have a captain's meeting and those are the guys that i get the most information from and excited about the six captains uh that we have and we'll talk about those guys as, as we kind of go through it but it's funny even being in the Palouse in this region, and I put it out on Twitter, but it's harvest time. Yeah. You know, I, I really mean that. And because it's time to see the fruits of our labor, too. Uh, because on January 8th, we set a course for who we wanted to be this season. And I know the season starts and people feel like, oh, it's the start of the season. It's long from that. We're in mid-season, right? So there's the winter camp, the spring ball, the summer training, and all it leads up to this. And I think our connection is really strong. And I think... Uh, there's a way that we need to play games. I think we've been open and honest with how we need to do that. And I think we've improved a lot as a team. So if we can take that talent, go out there and play with no hesitation and believe in each other, I think those are three really powerful elements that our team is heading into this season with. This is your second year as a head coach. Yeah. It's I, your fourth year here. Yes. But it's your second full year yeah. as a head coach. First of all, congratulations once I appreciate again. That. Right? Thank you. But Thank and, you. And round of applause, Thank no you. doubt about that. But was last year what you thought it might be? You're, there, there's what you're thinking it, it, yeah. it's going to be like. You go through the whole year, and now you had really your first off season after having been a head coach ever. So that's got to be oh, new too. Tons of learns, tons of learns, and I think you you set a course. And I've always had goals, and always wanted to be a head coach. And you have this plan, and you're going to go execute it right. And I think that's in all walks of business. Uh, but sometimes you're like, ooh. I need to get the feedback. I need to learn. We need to evolve. And I think I've had an opportunity to sit back and do that. And it all starts with having a, a great staff. You know, and I think we've had an opportunity to put together, and we'll talk about some of the new guys, yep. a staff that believes in what we're doing, uh, just really loves being here, and is really committed to being great here. And I think that's a great place to be. All right, Coach, we'll take a break. We're live here at Zeppos. We're just getting started. Segment one, show one, getting ready for the Rams. It's the Cougs in Colorado State coming up. We'll take a break. Come back next. Saturdays are made for football. When the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A cracked Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the nine to five, but worry about the fourth and one. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums with over 50 daily departures to 18 nonstop destinations provided by six major airlines, as well as one-stop connections to most major metropolitan centers throughout the U.S. 
Real-time arrival and flight departure information is available at SpokaneAirports.net. Spokane International Airport, when it's time to fly. Carbon monoxide detectors save lives because if kerosene, propane, natural gas, or wood isn't burned properly, dangerous carbon monoxide may result, and it can build up indoors without you knowing, as it's invisible and odorless. So protect yourself by installing UHL-approved carbon monoxide detectors. If carbon monoxide is present, the detector will alert everyone to get out of the house, where you can safely call 911 for help. Avista, we just want you to be safe. Cougar football. Rolling right for the ball. Going to throw the long ball down the middle. Man he over. Watch the end zone. Leaping grab. Touchdown. And the Palouse is going to pop. Cougar football from Learfield. Whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU Credit and Debit Cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU. Power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. As a locally owned family business, tradition is the core of Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. We know that every family has traditions, and when it comes to automotive, we want your traditions to start with us. The family at Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet, we are a different type of dealership, and we take pride in continuing what we were taught many years ago, to be honest, never pressure, and to treat our customers like our own family. It's just that simple at Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. The Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Runs into a massive crimson, does not get the yard. It's a goal line stand. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow. Back at it live here at Zeppos talking ball with Coach Dickert. It is game week. It's the Cougs and the Rams coming up from Fort Collins, Colorado. Earn your bragging rights at Northern Quest with more slot machines, table games, restaurants, lounges, and luxury hotel rooms than anyone else in the region. Northern Quest, yes, the best. More at northernquest.com. Well, if, if fans hadn't picked up on it, I, I like to, to focus on some things, not just about the quarterback, right? It's about the yeah. strength coach. Yeah. It's, it's, it's also about, you know, it's about the guys in the trenches. It's oh, about yeah, the strength it coach. That's, and it's about time at the snap, right? It's about offensive line. It's about defensive line. And, and we're gonna, this is what this segment is yep. for, right? We'll, we'll go through that. But you, you mentioned we got new offensive coordinator, new defensive yeah. coordinator. Yeah. Your new OC is Ben Arbuckle. Your new DC is Jeff Schmetting. Yeah. What does Ben Arbuckle bring to you? He's a, he's a young guy. He's a, he's a confident guy. He's a great yeah. guy. I, oh, yeah. I, I had a chance oh, to yeah. tee it up with him. This, yeah. this, this, he's a great, great stick, yeah, by the that's way. That's right. He can, he can play some golf He's now. really good. Yeah. He's, but, but Jeff Schmetting, Spokane guy. All right, so yeah. bring me through that, and then we'll talk about the trenches. Well, I think it's the biggest thing as, as a staff, as a whole, you know, it's one of those things you're going to have some some turnover, right? And we want stability and we want people that want to be here, but we also want people that are going to add value to our program. And I think both of those uh, men do that for us. And I think uh, Coach Buckle, as we refer to him a lot, Coach Buckle, uh, just brings a certain energy to him. And when we went through the whole process, I wanted someone that's going to advance our offense forward. And more importantly, it was really about Cam Ward, his technique, and how we can take the quarterback position and get him to where we can play at a really high level and then surround him with a lot of great pieces that he can be creative with. I think you're going to see more shifts, more motions, more tempos, obviously known for taking the ball down the field. We need to be able to stretch the field. Really excited about what he's brought. And just as when you continue to watch him, you're like, wow, every week's almost a different offense. Yet they're simple. Uh, they're not beating themselves, and they're playing fast and aggressive. And I just think that's something from my defensive end of, like, that's it. And he's, he's just provided with a lot of stability and love the staff we've created around him. And, Jeff, I, it's always the hardest position to coach is what, what the old head coach used to coach, yeah. right? So I think he's done a good job of coming in and putting his own spin on it because we have been running the same defense for three years. So to take ownership of that, try to find our strengths of what we have, uh, obviously, on the defensive line and, and the coverage guys, and I think we'll be more multiple this year, and I think that's a positive place to be. Did you expect that you would have a defensive coordinator who was an SEC defensive coordinator, a guy who led the Auburn Tigers defense 
from Spokane no, to be available no, I, to come back. Well, it's just one of those things where you just talk about fit, you talk about timing, you talk about you know just receiving a Rolodex of phone calls of people of like, you need to look at Jeff Schmetting, and that means a lot to me. And when I hired him, he's like, Coach, I just thank you for letting me come home. You know, and I think those words are important. Nick Edwards, I'm coming home. You know, Coach Arbuckle, he's from a small Texas town that it just – everything fits. And I think that was the best part about all the new hires and the new staff. Uh, they want to do right by Wazoo, and I think that's an important factor. He said Pullman was big for him. He did. Did Buck, Coach Buckle. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. He did. Uh, Nick Edwards was a, an assistant uh, on the staff, not the wide receivers coach, but an assistant on the Atlanta Falcons staff. Yep. But he's an Eastern Washington guy. He's a Cheney guy. He did. He had, he had a, a great career there uh, from uh, Seattle area, Tacoma. So it's just been a really good pairing for all those people. But always putting it together, obviously, Coach Arbuckle and Coach McGuire, you know, small town Texas guys, knew of each other, same type of air raid tree. Uh, So just really proud of the staff and and what they've done putting together and what they've done, you know, getting to know our new personnel and how to use those guys in the right ways. It's not the leech air raid tree, right? It's different. It's the air raid. I I will say it's the most overused term in football. Tell me more. Because there's only one man that runs air raid. And his name was Mike, Mike Leach, Leach, you yeah, know, yeah, and, and yeah. RIP to Coach. Sure. And, and we're excited about honoring Coach at, at the Wisconsin game. Oh, that's great. Um, so there's going to be a lot of that coming. But everyone has evolved from there to introducing the tight end, you know, the, the Lincoln Rileys and the Sunny Dykes. And, you know, obviously Coach Morris we had last year. So air raid is concepts of passing. And now these guys have put it together with tempo and run game and RPOs. So it's vastly different. But everyone loves that tag because of how successful Coach Leaks was with uh, it, right? So it feels good. Got it. Um, but we're we'll, more, more multiple, and I think he uses the tight end. You'll see that uh, being used in a variety of different ways, and I think that's where we've always wanted to evolve, and, and that's where we're going. Uh, and I, I don't – this is not so behind the curtain. This is something that happened last year. Lots of tight ends. Yes. It's yes. a deep group. It is. And I, I think one of the most improved – really group on our team yeah. and just talk about back to the strength you know Andre a year older Coop uh, you know a year more just being at that position and being stronger Billy's been stable as ever and I think Cam Johnson has probably made one of the biggest leaps on our team period and has proven himself to be a weapon so I'm just excited about a the competitive nature of them but how each of them has their own little package and can do a variety of different things so expect to use the tight ends more than we have in the past you've got some prototypes yeah I mean dollar Andre dollar is a prototype tight end. Cam Johnson is your – that is how you build a yeah. tight end. He's 6'4", 240, whatever. Yeah. You know, I mean, he looks – And really putting him through the same process. I mean, Cam was an ex-wide receiver, yeah. you know, that started off, uh, you know, at uh, Army, you know, at Army yeah. and then obviously junior college. Then we find him. We put him in a role. You know, you just get him over the summer, and he's a little uncomfortable at first, and now you see what you can have when you put him through a process. So uh, I know the one thing when – We have, you know, like Jack Thompson comes out or, you know, Pat come out to practice. He's like, I'll tell you this, we look different, right? We're bigger, we're faster, we're stronger, and I think that's obviously a great place to be. Especially at the tackle spots. That's right. I mean, we're going to talk about the trenches. I'm telling you, got Kook fans, you're going to watch. We'll listen. We'll talk about this. We, monsters. That's right. Coach, you have monster. Ta- right. Essa Pole and Falili, who's bigger now. Yes. We're talking 6'7", 320 on the left side and 6'5", 305, but I think it's a little more than 305 now yeah. Yeah. on the right side. I mean, these, these are – this is Abe Lucas and Andre Dillard, actually a little bigger yes. than, than Andre. Yes. Like, these guys are really, really big. Yeah, I, and it's, it's part of just our philosophy uh, as a program, but also – where we need to be to win games at this level, you got to be great at the line of scrimmage. And uh, that's also a group, and we'll talk about them well-deserved, that they took a big step forward, and, and that offensive line is excited about keeping Cam upright and being very physical and tough at the line of scrimmage. Well, last year, and we got about a minute or two left in this segment, L- last year you were last in the pack in sacks allowed. Yep. 46 sacks allowed. That was last in the pack. It was, it was too many, I know, oh, too many. F- for your liking. And so, Especially with Cam's escapability, yeah. you know, because there's probably a, a slew of other ones that Cam just has a little bit of Slithery, magic up his yeah. sleeve. Not runnability, escapability. Yes, yeah, I, I tell that to him very clearly. Um, but, yeah, we have to protect Cam. Um, but we also have to have answers in the toolbox of what we do to know, hey, we're going to chip this guy. Hey, we're going to have a little bit more max protection. Hey, let's tempo a little bit more. So I love what Coach Arbuckle has done is provided a menu of answers to help some of those guys. And that is part of 
using the tight ends, using the tailbacks, finding different ways because we need to evolve and have answers, and, and that'll be a big part of our game this year. There's some depth. You mentioned Connor Gomnis at center. Uh, fans are familiar with Maaki Fafita. He's been yeah. around a long time. Uh, Brock Du, Christian Hilborn played a lot last yeah. year, and then Christian Cano is a, is a transfer from Southern Utah, and all those guys are kind of in the mix. I know Rod T. LaVeya is a backup yeah. that Coach McGuire well, I, I think to the biggest point, last year it was like stringing five guys together yeah. and just hoping that they could make it for 12 games. Now we have probably seven guys that will play in this game on a regular basis and okay. a little bit of a rotation. And I think that is not a sign of like, hey, we don't have five great ones. We feel have seven confident depth guys that can go in there and play and get it done. And when guys play at 55 to 60 snaps instead of 88, they're a better player, and it gives those guys a really important role that they want to go out there and execute. So I'm really happy with where that group's at. Now it's time to go out there and see the fruits of the labor. Love it. Love it. We're, we're loaded up with questions. Oh. We've got to smush the format here. We've got to get some questions. Let's go. We've got to do it. We'll take a break. Come back live here at Zeppo's. We'll get some questions, some write-ins here from folks. It's the Cougs getting set for the Rams coming up. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Director's Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Director's Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Director's Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. If Pac-12 football runs deep in your veins, then Sirius XM Pac-12 radio is what you need to listen to. We're talking conference and team previews, plus hear live games, news, and analysis from experts like Jeff Schwartz, Yogi Roth, and Evan Moore. Go in-depth with your favorite team with coaches shows, championship specials, and more. Get inside Pac-12 football like nowhere else. Feed your fandom on the Sirius XM app. Stay up to date anywhere you go. Just download the app and start streaming. Cougar football lives here. Up the middle, touchdown! One second left, Cougars on top! On the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. Do you ever pay attention to overhead power lines? If you're like most people, you don't, but you should, especially when you're working up on a roof or carrying a ladder outdoors. Kids who climb trees and fly kites and adults with drones need to watch out for power lines too. And on the off chance that you find a downed power line, stay at least 10 feet away and quickly call 911 and a Vista. Always pay attention to power lines. It's your best line of defense. A Vista, we just want you to be safe. This is the Cougar Football Hour. Summer salts in. Football first touchdown. The U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Here's Matt Chazanow. The Cougs and the Rams coming up. We're live here at Zeppos. We're in the heart of the show here for week one. Washington State to go to Colorado State. First road Mountain West game to start the year since... Says, wait a minute. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah, wait a minute. our first road game since uh, yeah. uh, 2018, uh, I believe. 18. The year was. Yeah. I wonder where that was at. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I think uh, the Cougs. Funny, 
Cougs were trying yeah. to go up against a, a loaded Wyoming squad yeah. with a super, really good defense. super talented assistant coach <laughs> on their defensive side yeah. in Laramie. Yeah, but the, uh, uh, the Cougs had a little ace up their sleeve that nobody knew about. A little Gardner Minshew? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no one did know. Well, I mean, yeah, no one knew about it. It was close uh, for yeah. a little bit, yeah. but then Cougs, Cougs took about. over. Yeah. yeah, it was really close. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember first half in Laramie at halftime looking over at Brinker and thinking like, uh-oh. Yeah. Like, I mean, we knew Wyoming. We, we knew you were really good. Yeah. And, and then second half worked. You know who was really good in that game? Big Dallas Hobbs. Big Dallas Hobbs. Dallas, is you make some plays? Big Dallas Hobbs is making Come plays. Come on, give yeah, Dallas a round of applause. Dallas Hobbs is here. Does a great job with the, the creative group. That's now. right. They're creative. It's hard to be creative. It, I, don't, it, I don't know it. They it just do it. Be, it is hard to be creative. Yeah, yeah. a huge credit yeah. to those guys. They do, they do a fantastic job. They really do. Uh, hey, let's do some writing questions. We, okay. got, we always say we got a the bunch napkin. of. The napkin. Is that an official? Uh, I love it. I love a question on a napkin. That's right. I really do. A lot of my best plays come from there. You know what I mean? Do they? Just, you know, I you have that. a suggestion box of plays, I I'm trying that. to think where we should put that. Uh, uh, for what's worth, Mike Leach very, very infamously did have a play he wrote on a napkin in uh, Jordan, the country, okay. yeah. and brought it back with, with a buddy, and they ran it in a game, and, and it, was, it, it was a whole thing. It was fine. It okay. was fun. Okay. It was a little, a little yeah. trick play. Kyle Sweet was snapping the ball from the slot. It was a whole thing. I wasn't really – first time I did it – Was I, it that thing they did against yeah. us in Wyoming where he threw it sideways? That play. You might. Well, so that's you a remember pain in my side. I know that <laughs> that play. Yeah, yeah that yeah. changed the whole course of the game. Well, by the way, that so was it's from, worth worked it. great. It worked was great. Worth that it. was written on a napkin. Yep. So I, I, I love myself some, some napkins. Uh, uh, we loved your comment about this is the the question now. We loved your comment about doubling down on this season. As a coach, how would you like to see Coug Nation double down this season? Well, I, I think that's an important question. You know, I think first of all, we're no secret to a lot of things have changed. You know, and I think we all have a lot of. Uh, feelings about that and and what what that means for for us going forward so the best thing that we can control that i can control is what we do right now and, and what we focus on and, and what that means in the moment you know the cool part of it Chaz, is that we've come into this season just kind of with a cougs versus everybody mentality and all we got all we need is something that we've been talking about through january and now it's more prevalent than ever and i think as a fan base as an alumni as faculty as a town as a community we got to show who we are. And I think this is a time to stand up, you know, and it's not a time to sit down. It's not a time to complain. It's not a time to figure out. And we'll, we'll, wherever we go and we're going to land and our leadership is going to put us in a great position, we got to make sure when this thing shuffles again, we get to where we want to go. And I think that's, that's all of us. That's a university. It's a fan base. It's a commitment to excellence of where we want to go and how we're going to get there. And there's only one way to do it, and that's plowing a path forward. Right. And it's not looking back and it's finding out what the next phase of Cougar athletics is. OK, and I'm proud to sit here and I'm proud to represent. And I'm proud to, you know, put a voice to it because I think it is needed uh, to also know that we've had a ton of success. And we're really proud of that. You know, I think in the last five seasons, our football program has the fourth most wins in what was the Pac-12. Hmm. OK, and that stuff doesn't happen by accident. Not to mention a top 25 soccer team, volleyball team, Pac-12 champions, women's basketball, a men's team that has been to the postseason. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Right. And that's how we all feel. Right. But, you know, the go Cougs and the mantra and waving the flag, that, that does matter. But at the end of the day, we're going to have to be more committed to ever to the future of where we're going. And uh, all I know is I can control me and I can control the message of this team. And I love where we're at and I love how focused we are going into week one. Um, but I, I feel you out there, Cougs. I, I do, right? So I acknowledge where we're going, where we're headed, but we still got a proud future, and it's because everyone that's behind us. Love it. I love it. Uh, how was uh, the next question, next write-in question here? Oh. How, how was your kiddo's first day of school here you know, at home? <laughs> it's amazing that it was just yesterday. You know, I'm a big, like, let's get him into school mid-August and let's get him out Memorial Day. <laughs> but uh, so Riley started seventh grade. Amazing. I just got from volleyball practice. Jet okay. started third grade. Yeah. He's at Lincoln Middle School. I'm going to catch uh, the tail end of his practice, make sure he's playing with Keep effort him in over my there. Discipline, right? Yeah, yeah, Jay started first grade, got a message. He actually, there he is back there. He, he listened his first day. Hey, good job, right, I got buddy. a message from good his job. teacher. So obviously he doesn't do that at home. We're working <laughs> on that. Uh, but a lot of great things. And uh, the, you know who is most excited? Who's that? My wife. Is that right? Yeah, it's time for them to be back in school. I know that. It's <laughs> Summer's time for over. Them. Yeah. Summer's over. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. These two are, are related. These are two writing questions. We'll kind of smush these together. Uh, I'll read them back to back. Okay. Uh, are we going to win? I need all caps, clear answer. Okay. Uh, next one. We play 
12 games, how many will we win? <laughs> <laughs> is that what all caps as well? Uh, That's a good just one. about. Okay. Yeah, it might as well be. Might as well be. Well, I know this. Um, you know, we do have a saying, we can beat anybody if we don't beat ourselves. You know, and I think that's a great place to be, but it's also things that we can control, you know. So how we execute, the effort that we play with, you know, not making mistakes at bad times, and most importantly for all Cougs out there, finishing games. You know, it's been kind of our number one focus as we've gone into this season. We've worked it in, in the conditioning aspect. We've worked it in spring ball. We worked it a ton situationally in fall camp. And when we get in those moments, you know, like last year, Oregon, that's a tough learn. Yeah. But we've learned from that. And we got to be the team that really looks inside and is tough enough to finish physical football games in the fourth quarter. There were tight games last yeah. year against really good teams. Yeah. And it's great to put yourselves in those opportunities. And like I said, those are tough learns. And we got to make sure that this year we're primed because the Pac-12, ironically, is as good as it's ever been. Well, that's uh, that don't you know, and that's a whole other yeah, thing, yeah. right? So to go there to each week to have an opportunity to win a tough game is is going to be important, and you got to play four quarters. It's one of the best years yeah. in the pack in, in terms of strength of conference yeah. ever. Yeah, three preseason Heisman candidates, the returning Heisman winner. Utah's beating up Florida right now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a 17-3 score. I could go on and on and on. I know. But yeah, we get, yeah, we get the deal. We're all right. preaching to the choir. We'll, we'll come back. We're live next. We do have an opponent preview segment next. We're going to talk okay. about – we're going to get into the nitty-gritty on Colorado State. Let's I, do you it. even know some of these coaches personally go way back. We'll talk about it. It's the Cougs and the Rams coming up. We're live here at Zeppos. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action. So when he yells, what? He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. This Cougar football tailgating moment is brought to you by Canoe Ridge Vineyards, proud partner of Washington State University Athletics. For this week's football matchup against Colorado State, smart Cougar tailgaters know to pair award-winning Canoe Ridge wines with a crowd-pleasing pregame meal. Your mealtime roster will score big points with Canoe Ridge wines backing it up. Canoe Ridge Vineyards, representing the best of award-winning Washington wines with more than 85 critical scores of 90-plus points. Visit them at their Walla Walla tasting room or at canoeridgevineyard.com. Go Cougs! This is Drew Bledsoe, and you're listening to Cougar Football. Bledsoe calls his play, has the ball, throws a home run ball from the end zone to Bobo! Go! Oh! Washington State! On the Washington State Sports Network. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. You know, when you love sports like I do, some people just don't get it. All the yelling, the face paint, the blind allegiance to some fictitious beaver. But you know who does get it? Epic Sports Bar. With their 30-foot HD TV, amazing game day menu, and live sports betting on their Turf Club Sportsbook kiosk. So now, I don't have to worry about scaring the cat every time my team scores. <laughs> Sorry, Muffins. Good kitty. Epic Sports Bar. Only at Northern Quest. Welcome back to the show. Time now to look ahead at this week's game with the Coors Light Opponent Preview. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Back at it live here at Zeppos Talking Ball with Coach. It is week one, 2023. 
Cougs trying to go to their eighth straight bowl. Let's go. Their eighth straight bowl that. game. The, the thing that would have been said even some time ago, and I, like I said, I said it on media day. Coach Leach started that, and the honor to carry that on has been has been great. Well, you certainly have. Uh, you've been to the Sun Bowl. You've been to the L.A. Bowl. It was a really cool game last yeah. year. The result wasn't yeah. the goal, but the whole experience, yeah. you know, that great venue was, was really, really, really awesome. All right, we're taking on the Colorado State Rams this week. They are coached by Jane Norvell. You coached against Coach yeah. Norvell when he was at Nevada, I believe, yep. when last year, of course. Yeah, 2019. So it's, it's a rematch from last year. You got the best of them last year pr- pretty handily. Yep. You were up 28 nothing at the half, final score 38-7. to yep. What does this year's version look like to you? Well, a little bit last year's game was a tale of two halves. It really was. I thought we got out the gate really well coming off of the big Wisconsin win. And, uh, you know, just like, just like myself, Coach Novell is going to develop and build a program. And I got a lot of respect for him. And, and he's in year two as well. So, you know, in today's world, it's like a new team. I think they have 50-some new players, transfers, uh, especially at the offensive line. You know, and I think they do a really good job of, you know, team culture and getting these guys on the same page. And I think they're going to be really excited to prove how they've improved. You know, so I think we got to take that same mindset. We've improved in year two of a program. You know, so a lot of the focus has been on what we need to do, but they have a lot of familiar faces and a lot of uh, powerful players, and I think they'll be playing really confidently. A lot of new offensive linemen. They have yeah. four new likely new starters yeah. uh, on the offensive line. The anchor of whom is their center, Jacob Gardner. He's an all-Mountain West yeah, player. Good player. But the rest of um, of the squad has a lot of continuity quarterback Hugh Millen's kid the, yep. the Husky is their uh, QB Clay Millen um, 72% completion last year really good I have a lot of respect for him you know because he got sacked I believe the most in the country last year and he kept coming up kept fighting kept staying the course I, I just got a lot of respect for the way he plays the game Torrey Horton had a thousand yard receiving year last year wide receiver 6'2 190 yeah. really good player he's real real I mean he could play anywhere in the country uh, they did a good job of bringing him from Nevada and uh, I, I think after our game they had a really great plan on to get him some more touches and get him the ball and he's a really down the field threat and he's going to be playing on Sundays yeah uh, preseason all Mountain West caught five balls last year yep. against the Coos last year folks may remember Avery Morrow um, and then they bring in a North Dakota State transfer Kobe Johnson those are their two running backs yeah I think the biggest thing is they've restructured the offensive line and it's one of those things when you go into week one you never have a great idea of exactly what they're going to do I think coach Norvell has a system that, that they love and that's proven throughout time but uh, you know two starting new tackles two new guards uh i think they're they're ready to take that step forward and you know we still got to have an ability when they want to throw the ball to put pressure on the quarterback you know he's the number one decision maker he's also the guy when you really affect him you have the ability to take the ball away so defensively you know biggest thing we need to improve on is explosive plays you know so that's been our focus as we've walked through uh this last fall camp but they got explosive players all over the place and we just got to make sure we're doing our jobs their oc is matt mummy if there is a Another name other yeah. than Leach that's here, yeah. right? It's uh, Mummy. Yes. And, uh, and Matt Mummy's uh, kind of been Norvell's guy. He was going back to Nevada as well. So they run what their version of the air raid is. Yep. They do have a tight end that they use. It's a little bit different. Than yeah, that. and they're a little bit more 10 personnel, and now they feel they have a BYU transfer um, You know that I think is going to be able to be a little bit more multiple in the scheme and where they want to go and how they want to run their you know, kind of zone stretch schemes and their drop back schemes. So I think it'll be a good blend of, of run and pass, and, and I think they're going to be coming out as a confident group. Yeah, Dallin Holkers, their, their tight end transfer yep. from BYU. Their kicker's from Utah. Yeah. He's the Utah kicker. It's yeah. Jordan Noyce. Folks yeah. remember him in the in the pack. He was he was solid. They're in the secondary, they've got a Coog transfer, a Beaver transfer, and a Cal transfer. Yeah. Uh, so they're loaded with talent and, yep. and names that fans remember. Chagosi Anusium was, was Cal Golden Bear. Yep. Ron Harge, who played for the Oregon State Beavers and played. Like yep. these are guys, these are not guys yeah. who didn't play. These guys are played. And then Aiden Hector, who was here at the big game against the Ducks. So th- that's where he ended up, and and that's a lot of. And Jack Howell, maybe the best of them. Yeah, is at safety. Well, that's a good def- defense. I think second. overall, you know, the the strength of their team last year was their defense. You know, and I think they were you know 13 points a game on offense, and and was really respectable on defense. And sometimes that's really hard to do. And I think they got a lot of those guys back, and they added. You know, I think the the biggest one is is Kamara, if I'm saying that right. I think so. Uh, the defensive end. 
you know, he was a problem last year, and we got to know where he's at. And I think they do a really good job of, hey, he's edge rushing. Hey, now he's standing up and floating. They and they're going to create a lot of different mismatches for him because he can really get off the ball. He's an elite pass rusher, and he's a, he's a big disruptor. Another guy that doesn't jump off the, the frame as far as size, but, man, can he play. And uh, I think their secondary is confident. They're really long. And I think they got some unique pieces in how they kind of fit things in. 6'1", 250 is a graduate student at this point now is Muhammad Kamara. Yeah. He's actually from Newark, New Jersey, which yeah. is, uh, has a bunch of really good football players in it. Uh, and he's all Mountain West preseason. He, he had a sack and a half last year in Pullman. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I think the D-line is a strength of, of what they do. Uh, familiar, you know, defensive coordinator and guy that I actually got a chance to coach at North Dakota State and Freddie Banks. Their linebackers coach is Adam Pillipel. Uh, so if you guys are watching, it's good. We'll see you guys here pretty soon. Hmm. Uh, but at the end of the day, they do a really creative job of putting their players in aggressive situations. And the, the history of this defense for a long time, Chaz, has been be really good up front. Hmm. And I think they have that so you have a lot of pieces that they can play with peel back the pill pill relationship for me how, yeah, how well, far back do you guys go yeah so pill was a linebacker for us uh at wyoming and he's one of those guys as a player you're like this guy and his energy he's crazy <laughs> like, you know what i mean he Not was okay oh he, he you know but he was always a rotational linebacker but guy that knew every position played all the special teams and you're like he is going to be a great coach yeah and there's no doubt that throughout his journey he went to montana state first and now he's there at colorado state and got a chance to see him this summer but uh he's one of those guys that he probably worried about a little bit on Saturday night what he was doing. But when he came back and he balled out in practice, oh, man, could he go out there and get it. Well, he's ready. If yeah, he's, oh, he's, he's ready. ready he's he's ready. time. All right, that's our opponent preview there. So it's Colorado State, Fort Collins. It's a team that at times, like under Sonny Lubick yep. 20 years ago, they won the Mountain West. I think they won it three or four years at one point. Like when they've yep. been good, they've been very, very good. And, and I've obviously played them through the, the boot rivalry, and this place will be rocking. Mm -hmm. They have a brand-new stadium a few years ago, 43 thousand it's going to be loud it's going to be a great environment so uh, obviously we got to make sure we're ready to be our best washington state university would like to thank crimson and gray for their continued support of cougar athletics head to bookstore.com to get the latest in cougar apparel that's b-k-s-t-r Dot com. We'll take a break. We'll, we'll go to the uh, X Twitter questions. Okay. We'll, we'll call okay. Twitter, Twitter yeah. X, whatever we want to yeah, call it. I'm a Twitter guy. Live here at Zappos. Yeah. Coming back next. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A correct Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, Mountain Cold Refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, what? be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU credit and debit cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU, power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. You're listening to Cougar Football on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Today's nutrition report is brought to you by Wilbur Ellis. Did you know that professional football players can burn over 1,500 calories during a game? That's why they need the right nutrients to fuel their performance. Wilbur Ellis understands the importance of providing the right nutrients needed for the long haul. That's why they've developed cutting-edge products like Purik, designed to increase nutrient availability and uptake in fast-growing crops. Visit WilburEllisAgribusiness.com and chart your course for the winning ag experience. Whoever said, good things come to those who wait, clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app, and you can pick up when you get here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
Cougars fans. Now you can win all season. On game day, get a 20-piece chicken McNuggets and two medium fries for just $10.99 when you order ahead on the app. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. I participate in McDonald's. Must opt into rewards. is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Runs into a massive crimson, does not get the yard. It's a goal line stand. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow. Back at it straight to it. Here we've got ourselves a bunch of social media questions, Twitter questions. Oh. The whole situation, we're loaded up here. We've got a full slate, Coach, so okay. let, we'll, try to, we'll try to get him in. Michael Sean Duger, good to, good to get a little word from, uh, from Michael Sean. He, he does, the, uh, does great reporting on the west side for The Athletic. He's a Seahawks beat reporter. Okay. Huge, huge uh, supporter of the Coach it. Dickert program. Where has Cam taken the biggest step? And also, does the team have an identity? If so, what is that? So it's really two questions. Well, I think the, the Cam question is one that I probably get more than any question out there. And just really proud because we, we had a meeting this morning, too, and I said, tell me about what what's different this year than it was last year. And it just – his confidence, his conviction, him knowing uh, who he is. And, and the best thing he said is change has been great for me. And I think that's really important. I think that's a really mature thing to say. So to change his drop, to change his eye progression, to change how he studies film, to challenge him and never get pushback ever, and him wanting to be coached, I'm just so proud of him. Like I am because he could have said, well, I've been successful doing it this way. Uh, But he was an open book, and I think he's going to see the results of it, and I think that's going to spread throughout our team. So uh, just know there was a time in the spring where, man, it was awkward. It was uncomfortable because he wasn't comfortable with the techniques that he's gotten past that he's got pocket presence he's not bailing out when he shouldn't and he's ready to throw the ball at a next level type caliber and and that's exactly where we want Cam playing but and, and I think the identity of our team you know I think it's a it's a good question because one of the first thing we did in fall camp we we wrote on a big whiteboard we said how does this team need to play to win games I said and I want to hear from you and you know we we listed off a bunch of things of, of discipline and do your job and relentless and effort and you know connection and all the things that really go into it are all things that we control the the one thing that always sticks out for me and you heard me use this word this morning toughness you know toughness still wins games you know so i know we're a spread offense i know what we do on defense but when we're tough to our job and everyone is bought in you know, I think that'll be the identity of this team, and we can win in multiple ways. I think that's what I'm excited about, and uh, we'll let the chips fall where they may. Go Cougs and Seattle Sports. Ben, he has three questions. I'll, I'll give you one of them okay. for, in, with time in mind. We've had good tackling nickels for the past decade. Very true. Yeah, well, shout well, out to Armani Marsh. Yeah, Armani right? Marsh on, on the, the Titans, yep, yep for sure. Uh, Hunter Dale did a really good job. Shalom Luani was yep. an NFL player. Um, what qualities make someone destined for nickel or cornerback? Okay. That, that's always a unique one. So corner is a little bit more linear speed and range, right? So big, tall guys, a Jalen Watson, a Derek Langford since, since I've been here, uh, that can really run vertically. You don't have to be as great laterally and a big change of direction quick guy. Now, when you slide into the slot, you're talking about space, and you have to be able to own space. You know, at corner, they take an outside release, pin them to the sideline, play with length. When you're in the slot, outside release could mean a route tree that's as big as you could ever imagine. Mm. And also, it's that combination of, you know, the quickness, the speed, the toughness in tackling because you got to fit the box. And the things that you need to know at that position versus corner, it's two different worlds. So motion adjustments and backs and run fits and – I think you've got to be one of the biggest jackknifes on our team. I mean, a guy that can do everything. So we've had a good string of those guys, but it still comes down to recruiting. We recruit all corners. Some slide to freed safety, George Hicks. Some slide to uh, the nickel position in Armani Marsh, right? So we just get a bunch of corners and figure out where they fit. Jennifer Delzer, who's one guy on the team that no one's talking about you think will have a big impact this year? Wow. I think – Let's talk about a group in particular, the wide receiver group. You know, and I think it's a lot of unproven Pac-12 guys. But I know this, when they get the ball in their hands, they can make plays. And they can turn 5 into 15 and 5 into 50. And I think that's a great place to be. So Kyle Williams, UNLV transfer, a very great vertical stretch guy. Josh Kelly came in from Fresno State after last year's injury. I think he's going to make a huge impact on our team. You know, just even the little things of moving Lincoln back into the slot, DT Sheffield, 
Uh, and then one guy that I've been calling out on defense that I think is ready to really break out and impact our team is Naeem Rodman. You know, I think he's a proven uh, commodity. Uh, and I, I think uh, if you even go down to the freshman, you know, Carlos Hernandez, you'll see him playing as a true freshman. You'll see Ansel Dinbu playing as a true freshman. And Khalil Laufau, I think, is going to be, as you keep going, he's going to keep getting better and better. So to have two freshman defensive tackles that we love that much is, is a big credit to those guys. Finn Kell, how are uniforms chosen for each game? Is it purely equipment staff, player vote, coach's decision? I don't know if this is a, the wrong thing to say, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the creative guys at? I know they, they talk about it and the only the only thing i ever give them uh some advice is say hey if our opponent has white helmets don't wear white helmets okay so wisconsin's coming in week two i want to be in gray like like so so opposite of that other than that um whether it's players uh, jp in the equipment realm creative i know they do an amazing job but that's how we figure it out kingston the coog with with a lot of anticipation building for week two matchup against wisconsin is it hard to keep focus how do you keep focus for colorado state Great question. You know, I, I think the way we pose it and the way we frame opponents, you ever look down that gun scope test? Uh, no, I okay. never have, actually. So, so you haven't? No. All right, I, I need, take you, I need to you to take me. Yeah, I need but when you do that, you narrow the sights on what you're looking at, and you don't see the peripheral noise. Yeah. Like, like, you really don't. So we're locked into CSU. It's the only game that we're playing this week. And we got a bunch of guys. You know, we, we did a mock game uh, last Friday night, and we always sing the school song. And we say, hey, any new traveler, you got to come up and lead the school song. Yeah. It was 75% of the room, yeah. right? So yeah. we got a lot of new guys that want to be focused on this moment and don't need to be looking ahead. So that scope is narrow, and, and the target CSU. All right, we're up against it. We'll take a break. We do have some more questions. We'll try to get to them. Okay. If we can't, we appreciate you submitting them. We're live here at Zeppos. We're talking ball toward the back end of the show here. Cougs and Rams coming up this week. Hey, Coog fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. This is Drew Bledsoe, and you're listening to Cougar Football. Bledsoe calls his play, has the ball, throws a home run ball from the end zone to Bobo! Go! Oh! Washington State! On the Washington State Sports Network. Get game day ready at Rosars. Rosars is a proud sponsor of WSU Athletics and your headquarters for keeping snacks stocked up for game time. You'll find the largest craft beer selection, local and imported wines, and all the makings for your favorite cocktails. And while you're there, stock up on your favorite deli snacks, pizza, rotisserie chickens, and ribs. Don't just watch the game. Experience it with your favorite game time foods. Get game day ready at Rosars. This Cougar football tailgating moment is brought to you by Canoe Ridge Vineyards, proud partner of Washington State University Athletics. For this week's football matchup against Colorado State, smart Cougar tailgaters know to pair award-winning Canoe Ridge wines with a crowd-pleasing pregame meal. Your mealtime roster will score big points with Canoe Ridge wines backing it up. Canoe Ridge Vineyards, representing the best of award-winning Washington wines with more than 85 critical scores of 90-plus points. Visit them at their Walla Walla tasting room or at CanoeRidgeVineyard.com. Go Cougs! This is the Cougar Football Hour. Summer salts in. Football first touchdown. U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Here's Matt Chazanel. Back at it live here at Zeppos. We'll do a real quick segment here, and then we got to take a break, and then we'll, we'll put a bow on the show. We've really been through much of this offensive line. We have talked about RJ and BJ a ton. Yeah. Brennan Jackson, I, I just want to take about 30 seconds here, Coach. Brennan Jackson, is he the, the leader on this defensive squad? Is it RJ and BJ? Are those the two guys? Is it Shaw? Is yeah. it Jaden Hicks? Is it Lockett? Tell me about the, the, how that plays well, out. Well, I think there. they all play a really vital role, you know, and I think they're all great players in their own right and different leaders. You know, I think RJ, as soon as he walks in a room, you hear him. You know, I think BJ, you know, his work ethic, toughness, effort on the field just does all the talking for him. Devin Richardson has actually come in as a very senior leader and done a great job at our little middle linebacker. 
And I can't tell you enough about Shaw Smith Wade and his growth as a player and as a person and how he impacts this football team. Love it. One of the best corners in the pack, for sure, Shaw Smith Wade. I, I think he's one of the best in the country. Yeah. I, I feel comfortable saying that because I know all the work that he's put in, and I think he's ready to go out there and prove it this year. Final break here in this show, live here at Zeppos. We'll wrap it up next. Coming up, Colorado State. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A Correct Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Carbon monoxide detectors save lives because if kerosene, propane, natural gas, or wood isn't burned properly, dangerous carbon monoxide may result, and it can build up indoors without you knowing, as it's invisible and odorless. So protect yourself by installing UHL-approved carbon monoxide detectors. If carbon monoxide is present, the detector will alert everyone to get out of the house, where you can safely call 911 for help. Avista, we just want you to be safe. The passion. He's going to take it to the house. Dinner's cooking. Touchdown. The fury. Getting blessed. Down he goes. The speed. To the 50. To the 40. He's gone. Western College Football. Toward the end zone. Got it for six points. You can unhitch the wagon. Put the ponies in the board. Back in the end zone. 30. 20. This is the College Football Blitz. Listen all season long on College Sports Now on the Varsity Network. This is former Coug, Eric Coleman. Picked off, intercepted, touchdown coming into the end zone, Eric Coleman. You're listening to Cougar Football. Go Cougs. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums with over 50 daily departures to 18 nonstop destinations provided by six major airlines, as well as one-stop connections to most major metropolitan centers throughout the U.S. Real-time arrival and flight departure information is available at SpokaneAirports.net. Spokane International Airport, when it's time to fly. All right, back here live at Zeppo's final segment of the show here. It is so great to be back oh, playing ball. I mean, here. there's been so much off-field stuff that we can't control. we got 60 seconds. And I want to thank Jerry, uh, Jerry Kylo getting us on the air as always. Jackson Kowalski is the man behind the camera tonight. Jerry Payne Goober. Coach, thank you so much, buddy. Absolutely. This is the best. You, you know, really the, are. The best part is our team is so ready to go. They're like, Coach, we, we're prepared. We're ready. Let's, it's time to go out and play and see where we stack up. So it's, it's time. I bet they are chomping at the bit. Luke Hallett back in the studio. It is a 4 o'clock kick That's Pacific right. time at Colorado State. So we'll be on live at 2 o'clock. Derek Dyson, the boys. Thanks so much, everybody. Go Cougs. Yeah, thank you. Go Cougs. Thank you.